Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we had, uh, not entirely had all the stuff we do now. I went back to the, uh, Lakeview Manor and gathered some of our building materials from there. Bought a few more logs. So we're going to be building our house completely from, well, from scratch, basically but with all the stuff we had from the last house building. Oh, we ran out of nails. That was rather quick. <laughs> and what we're going to do is I'm going to build a lot of locks for right now. And then a lot of nails. And a lot of fittings. And a lot of hinges. A few more nails. We end up running through them a lot. In a house building, that is what happens. You run through basically all of them. And there we go. The fish hatchery. Didn't think I'd have that. Okay, we'll make a smelter because we'll need one. A stable because we need one. Don't know why they were moving. Uh, we'll make all of these because we can do it real quick. And now we'll go back to the drafting table. And we'll make this house different than the original house we had. You know, the one that's, you know, Lakeview Manor. That's going to be our uh, main house. But we're also going to have, uh-oh. Ran out of cord stone. De fuck. <laughs> oh, where's the uh, stone quarry? Where is it? Oh, god damn it. Now I'm going to have to do a little searching around throughout the whole place. I'm pretty sure it's down over here. Probably on the ground over here. Yep. It's supposed to be right next to this iron ore vein here. And it should... No? What? Okay, that's weird. I'm fairly certain there should have been a stone quarry something over here. I guess not. Or maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. Yeah, I know. It's going to get annoying after a while. But, oh, you know, fuck it. Um, let's see, where's the next most likely spot over there? Yeah, I think it's over there, actually. That would explain why the smelter is all the way over there. Yeah, that's where the stone quarry thing is. God damn it. I just basically did a whole bunch of running around for no reason. Because it's all the way over here. So this is going to be another heavy episode of home building. <laughs> We're just basically going to be doing a lot of mining. Let's actually make it really quick. Let's do that. And we'll pull the pickaxe. And we'll do it really quickly this way. This is a lot quicker than the original one. Serana! Stop walking into my path, damn it. I know you want screen time, but calm your tits. Jesus. Of course she's going to be doing that. Of course she is. If it's to screw me over, that's exactly what it's for. Okay. Seems this is a lot quicker than what I thought it was. Okay. Now we'll build a little bit more. I have 80 quarried stone. That should help out a little bit more. And main hall is finished. For now. And... Hmm, what should we do? We already have an armory in the old one. Let's make a kitchen. Let's make a kitchen on this house. And we have a storage room on that one. 
Why don't we build a trophy room? No, we'll have to do that after we build this one. God damn it, Serana. Stop interacting with things. Oh, Jesus. Stop it. Get out of the way, Serana. This is why I don't like having followers with me. Get in the way. All the time. And there we go. Alright. That's good. We'll uh, make the doors. The foundation. And I'm already out of nails. Well, at least my uh, weight's gone down. Because of all the materials I'm using. Jeebus Lorenzo. Okay, I'm running out of iron quickly. There we go, there we go. Alright. Give me a bit. It's catching a bug. Alright. Sorry about that little bit of squeaking. Anyway. And it'll be trophy room there. And this room will be the greenhouse, I think. This will be my little growing area. I think. It'll be good. There we go. And a roof. Okay. And one last thing. Which is the greenhouse. Call that good. Need lock and fittings. Okay. Serana, stop it. Stop being in front of anvils. God damn it. Okay. Oop, that's a little too far. Two iron fittings. And a lock. Two. I'll get another iron fitting. I'll probably regret it in a minute, but, you know, fuck it. Why not? And. Walls. Roof requires nails, and I have just enough for that. Alright. And the house is finished the first time we get to it. Took a whole bunch of building up bullshit. But there we go. It is all made up. It's all good. We still have 26 logs left out of the whole deal. Awesome. Alright, so this one is not going to be if we build a family. This is not going to be where they live ever. This is going to be where we make up, you know, most of our potions and cooking and whatnot. This will be our home for that. So that'll be good, I think. This will be good. Alright. Well, I did what I wanted to do for the episode. Let's drop off <laughs> a lot of the crap we had that we aren't going to be using for the time being. Just drop this off here. Drop this off. Uh, yeah, the iron fittings. Won't need those. Uh, won't need these. And... Uh, uh, hmm. I think I'll... Yeah, I'll drop off the ore, too. For the time being. Okay. We are good for right now. Let's make up some things for purposes. Because why the fuck not? Since we now have the proper weight to be running around. Let's make up a helmet. There we go. And I noticed I had a silver bar, so let's see. Really want to do that. Yeah, fuck it. There we go. And eventually, once we get Serana, you know, somewhere other than as a companion, we'll uh, get a steward for this place and then we'll get it all furnished up. How much coin do I have? I'm curious now. I have a lot of gold, so we'll be able to get that furnished up in no time. What really matters is how much time it takes. I'll take these. Alright. Now that we have the main thing I wanted to do done, 
let's move on to some quests. Huh? Uh, we had to head down to White Run now that I recall to get to the last bit of helping for uh, Morthal done so we can become their thane. So let's do that. Well, we need to talk to Danica Pure Spring. Where she is, I'm not entirely sure. She sometimes moves around a lot, so it's hard to pin her down if you don't have a quest marker on her, so. Swords swing faster than axes, and axes swing faster than maces. Well, yeah, that makes sense. One has a lot more weight behind it, and the other one doesn't. Jeez, the frame rate is just dropping every time I load into the place. It's weird. Oh, I still have the freaking... I still have that equipped. That's not great. And... Hmm. Oh! Oh, yeah! Hey! Mister, could you Lucia. spare a coin? It was Lucia, okay. Just one gold, please? Sure. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Why are you begging? It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Oh, no. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? Yeah, all, all the way in Falkreath. Oh. Wow. Are you... Are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? <laughs> yes, I'm sure, daughter. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um... Mr. Papa. Um Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sky, vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. Oh, don't scare it's the girl, the god world, damn it, you. you motherfucker. Calm your fucking tits, alright? Girl does not need to be scared or subjected to that sort of fear mongering, you goddamn motherfucker. It also doesn't need to be subjected to my sailor's mouth, but I don't give two fucks. Cause fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I uh, I went a little crazy there. How about you how about suck my dick? How about that? Jesus, why are there so many guards in one place? You should be out in the middle of the city, protecting it. Jesus. Danica. It's a shame, isn't it? I have a delivery from Idgrad. Yorick's sister? Mm -hmm. Poor child. Magic runs deep in that family's bloodline. It's not always a blessing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this. Something for your trouble. Oh, you didn't need to do that. Thank you. Has the Stormcloak uprising affected your duties? Somewhat, yes. Mm. At first, it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. Yeah, that's how it goes. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. Fair enough. The race of Kinnereth be with you. Hey, Lucia, I you need going to get my things and say goodbye to everyone. Okay. I'll meet you at home. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're welcome, darling. Okay. And I think we will head to Morthal now. Get that out of the way. And then head straight home to see how she's getting acquainted with the place. Uh, Morthal's over here. There we are. Ha <laughs> ha. Fly all the way over there. Spell books can be purchased from the court wizard in the Jarl's palace. Oh, shit! I completely forgot. I still have that spell book I got from Serene. About the, uh... Da, 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 la, la, da, Sunfire. Which is especially strong against undead. It's a restoration spell, but it has the cover of a destruction spell. And, you know... Anything fire-related is what Tyrong is good at. So... Down here. There we are. Sunfire. Alright, and... 
Oops, it's under restoration. That's right. Sunfire. Bolt of sunlight that does 25 points of damage to undead. Which is a good thing to have. I think. And... See how it looks when it's cast. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Uh, I'm human. Well, Khajiit. <laughs> that was racist to myself. <laughs> I'm Khajiit and mortal and not vampire. That, that helps a little bit, I think. That's not even a Khajiit accent. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm a bundle of fuck up today. Just a whole barrel of fucking up. There we go. Talk to you. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. Well, that, that's very nice. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. <laughs> I've helped your people. Then by my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Yalmarch. Congratulations. Awesome. I grant you this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Mm -hmm. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Now that'd be kind of bad, wouldn't it? Blade of Hjalmarch. Uh, let's look at that. Hmm? Blade of Hjalmarch. That is a steel sword with... Yeah, it's not great. You're the Thane. Eh? No, you're the Jarl has appointed house me to be your house carl. It's an honor to serve you. So... What does a house carl do? No, I already know this. Mm -hmm. Go to the house. Or I've already had it all built up, specifically for the reason for you to go there. And, hmm. I wonder. Yes? I think we should part ways for right now. Oh, alright. Goodbye, then. Well, didn't actually think that would work. I guess I'll just pick her back up at the, uh... <laughs> at the... Du -du 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 Dawn Guard Castle, wherever she is, and Brenor. Uh oh, there we go. That was weird. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Fair enough. Anyway, I need your help. Let's not waste me. any time. Cool beans. And we'll we will meet back up with Serana. Don't worry about it. I'm only getting him to do the Winstead Manor stewarding thing. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Purely that. Hermaeus Moore is a dangerous prince of fate. And we're also going to get some heavy armor on the other dude. Because when I looked it up, he actually is the, uh, the house carl for this place. He's actually adept in heavy armor. Not light armor, which he's currently equipped in. Which is weird. We've stopped. What is it? So, what is it? You, what? He's not available oh, for that. Oh well, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. They haven't made me a guard, even though I've been asking. So I'll take odd jobs, anything that comes along for now. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, I, I guess that's not gonna work. Me. Shite. Shite. Alright. Well, that went south. Although I do have another person in mind for that. Another person with that sort of strength behind them, perhaps? Mm hmm? I think you know who I'm talking about. We also had a similar situation with them a long time ago. <laughs> Where we met them and then fist fought. A good old fashioned brawl. Mm -hmm. Revered and legendary dragons are more deadly than ancient dragons. They use a shot that can drain health, magicka, and stamina from its victims. I was admittedly looking at the screen a bit for that. Okay. We're going to head to the person we're going to get. And. Hmm. 
I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. I never really talked to him that much. There's still the threat of a dragon attack. And we've done as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, White Run is home to the companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than he's bargained for. I think. You're not wrong. I mean, I am the leader of the companions right now. All right, we will talk to the person. All right, I might as well spill the beans on this one. It's going to be the uh, Ulfberth. Or, no, that's not right. Ulf. I don't remember her name, but she is. Uthgird. Uthgird. There's Ulfbert, who is you had a strong drink. the husband you of blade blade Adrian, Adrian. Six seconds. I thought we fought with you already. You think you can take Why me on? Not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A mm -hmm. hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. You're on. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, well. Yes. I thought we already did the fighting thing with her. I guess I was wrong. The unbroken is going to be broken. <laughs> Booyah. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. Don't you forget it. I think I earned that hundred. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Fair enough. Actually, someone who can get things done. Let's not waste bring you any along time. Yeah, there we go. And I realize I don't have the ring on I made specifically. Whoops, that's not the right one. That's the one. And I want this. Motherfucker, I am missing left and right. Anyway, now we'll end the episode. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games for you.